Below, your weather authority, powered by AccuWeather. Well, another afternoon of quite a bit of sunshine as you head out the door. It's a little bit more humid today and those temperatures. Well, they're just as hot as yesterday. 92 currently in Gulfport, 93 in Biloxi. And of course, our heat index values are approaching 100. So take it easy out there. It's just really a typical South Mississippi summer like afternoon. We might see one or two showers, maybe a rumble of thunder try to pop up later this afternoon, but really not expecting much. Only have a 20% at the moment. We're going to have a mix of sun and clouds and we'll once again be in the mid 90s, maybe one or two degrees cooler than we were yesterday. Now going into tonight, rain chances go up just very slightly, only a 30% chance of an isolated shower, maybe a downpour, a rumble of thunder, but for the most part, not expecting widespread heavy rainfall tonight. Going to be mild and muggy though into the upper 70s, so a lot more moisture is headed in our direction. Your future cast showing maybe one or two of those pop up showers tonight, but as we go or this afternoon, but as we go into tonight, notice a lot of moisture moving in from the south and from the west going to be heading in our direction. Now, while I don't think it's going to be raining continuously throughout all Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon, we are going to have those pockets of showers, maybe a rumble of thunder as we go throughout the day. And then the rain changes just continue to go up as we go into the later part of the work week. It's all thanks to Invest 91. It's our tropical disturbance we've been watching since the weekend. It really hasn't organized itself much more than where it was yesterday. Currently just off the Mexico coast, moving up towards Brownfield, but still or Brownsville, but still very, very disorganized. And really, it's running out of room. It's running out of water to organize itself into uh, something a little bit more substantial. So at the moment, we've lowered the chance of development to 40%. It still has a narrow window of opportunity to maybe become a depression, uh, but it would be no more than that, a depression. So looking at radar, we actually had something pop up pretty interesting. Notice this little spin right here. It looks like the center of the tropical system. It's actually not. The main area of spin with this is still very broad, but it's actually down towards the south down here. So that's why this thing is just not organized at all as it continues to drift slowly off towards the north and towards uh, the north and towards the west. Now what it's going to start to encounter, this is all the moisture associated with it. We got a lot of wind shear it's about to run into and that's why we're just not expecting this thing to really strengthen into anything. But what it's going to do, it's going to latch on to all this um, wind shear and the trough that's moving in from the west and that's going to help spread all that moisture into our area. So our upper level is looking like this. Here's the disturbance. We've also got a cutoff low moving in from the west. These two are going to meet up and that's going to create a pretty wet stormy situation over really the entire southeastern parts of the U.S. as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, even, even into Friday. It looks like we're going to continue to be dealing with some rainy weather. As long as we're to the east of that cutoff low, we're going to still have the chance for showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. We're thinking about two to four inches on average here in South Mississippi. We can definitely handle that, but don't be surprised if we see a few isolated higher amounts uh, than four inches. So much more rain than we've been dealing with over the past two to three weeks or so. So not bad today, maybe a shower, maybe a rumble of thunder, uh, but most of the rain chances come Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night, and then they're going to gradually go up as we go into Thursday. Friday looking pretty wet as well, but notice one thing this is going to do for us. It's going to drop those temperatures back down into the lower to mid 80s. So that's one uh, good thing with all this moisture that's moving into the area. And then as we go into the weekend, warms up slightly. We might still be dealing with a few showers and thunderstorms.